Okay, I get a lot of questions about setting up, so I'm going to compress a 26 minute setup into about three and a half minutes. First, I start with the stands. I have two cases. One contains the main stand that I'm setting up right now. It's all Gibraltar components. I find those the best and most flexible. And this holds my main gongs. Just a square two-tier stand holds five gongs. Now the second case contains the two sides. And on the right side here will be two more gongs. On the left side, I have four tiers with all my bells and different small percussion. So there we go, here's the other side, and the stand is complete. Now there's about 200 bolts, wing bolts, and things on there. I always have to make sure they're tightened so nothing rattles. Okay, I put my stick tray up there, and now we're ready to put on the gongs. First we have, I think that's a Jupiter, then a Symphonic. Second case, there's my Peisty Ring Chime, Michael Peisty Volcano Gong, a Ufip Local Sound Plate, Sound Creation Water Gong, and a um, Venus Gong on the bottom right. Third and final gong case, we have a Sound Creation Sky Gong on the bottom and a Sound Creation Earth Gong on the top. So that is the gongs. Now the three cases with the percussion. I set up my table. I have an X stand with a table I built. And I cover it in this silk Japanese tablecloth that my father got in Japan in 1949. So it's about 70 years old. I have three of them that he got. He was stationed there after World War II for six years. So I like using that because it covers the X stand and gives a nice sort of look to things. Now I'm starting to hang bells, put some bowls and bells on the table, hanging some copper clad bells, hanging some Burma bells, all on the, from this view, left side of my setup. Now put in some Peisty bell symbols and more bowls and percussion shakers and stuff on the table. I used my label maker and numbered all the bowls on the bottom, one to ten, of the small ones, so I know which order they go into. Now I open my mallet bag, put the small mallets in the tray, the larger mallets on the floor. And since this video, I've added a second mallet tray on the other side, just to make it easier.